Hey, my name is Farah. I'm the artist of Great <laughs> Works. <Yeah. laughs> yes, Wingy. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? Hello, I'm Wingy. I am the social media specialist for Great Works. Hello, I am the game programmer. My name is Danya. And hi, I'm Jiahui, and I'm the animator for Great Works. So, how did you all get your start here in the gaming industry of Malaysia? Should we start with the earliest one or the latest one? Yes, the, so the one the, the earliest one. <coughs> yeah. So I was job hunting at a, a IT fair and I met Sean and JT who were boosting at the moment and I was enamored by JT's art. So I decided to hand them my resume and that's how I got into the world of uh, game dev and game animations. Yeah. It was from there that I started my humble beginnings. Yeah. And I think Wingy, Wingy is new. Today is actually her first day. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, first day! Yeah. Uh, any background story? Um, I am actually a degree holder of a food science with nutrition, a um, bachelor's degree. Mm. Mm, I changed my background to the gaming industry mainly because I game mm. and then I started streaming so then um, after a while I realized that creating content was something that I was interested in doing and I know that it is also very important for uh, not only games but other products as well mm. so then because I know that I like gaming and I like showcasing the games that I play. So I was thinking, why not uh, join Ritworth and try out my luck to see if they're, they want to hire me to create content for them, to help them with their social media. So yeah. this is my first day. Yeah. So I'm <laughs> expecting <You> great things. <laughs> Today, she's already like really into the job. <laughs> creating memes. Creating memes. <laughs> memes. The that, first is thing, the yeah. first, that is the first thing when it comes to content creation. Memes are the first thing. Memes. Yeah. memes. Everyone loves memes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, I'm uh, already like into gaming, so I went for I aim for to become a in in the game industry. So I, I start straight up go to the University of KDU for game development. So instantly I got my bachelor's degree for game programming. I, this is actually my third company to go into. <laughs> so my first company, uh, they went for game demo as well, but they went off because of COVID. So mm. I got you know laid off afterward. My second company, they went for the not only the games but more like the social social media experience stuff. And I didn't like the experience there, like the environment. But the things that I do there is really nice. It was like AR, right? Yeah, it's AR yeah. and things yeah. like that. I like I love doing AR. That's like the thing that I hope I can do more here. But otherwise, game is also like the main I want to go for. And then so where, but where it works was the third because uh, Sean was looking for game programmers. I was one of his students, and he goes like, "Hey, you want to join?" It's like, "Cool, I want to join." It's like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> now I'm here. <laughs> And you do art on the side, right? I do art on the side, like basically because as uh, I actually want to go for art. Actually, I want to go for um, you know art, game art. But game art is a bit of like competitive in terms of like when it comes to women. But also like it's very like ups and downs in terms of like people taking in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's what I heard. Um, mm. But now I know it's a bit different. Like every, everyone wants a game artist actually, mm. and also game programmers. <laughs> but game programming is also like I really want to test it out, see if I can make my own game as well. Because there, there are many ways to do to make games, but I thought maybe game programming is like on the get go, you can do it on like on the spot. On the spot, yeah. Yeah. So it. yeah, that's for me, and <laughs> that's how a game programmer for me. Yeah. Uh, for me, I love games ever since I was a small kid but my parents hated me. <laughs> uh, so it's like it's always between me and them. It's like oh I wanted to go into games and they're like oh you're not gonna get a job in games. And then uh, I jumped into like engineering, industrial design and even like I did jewelry design but oh, yeah. at the end of the day I wanted to go into games mm. so I applied for work works <laughs> and here I am. I remember when she applied, uh, Sean and JT were like, Oh, this is so nice. The colors are so nice. Uh, they were very... My nice. portfolio. Yeah, yeah, they were very smitten. They were like, oh, must, must have. 
yeah. even when doing like they had like a digital interview oh, sort yeah, of yeah. thing that time i was i wanted to be like as proper as possible but then like the website kept refreshing so i just <laughs> typed like i was already frustrated and just like you know what i'm just gonna answer this as me <laughs> so if the answer is weird it's like yeah. ah screw it <laughs> So, and then like they wanted me so i guess that's like cool <laughs> <laughs> cool seems like seems like all of us kind of came from different backgrounds i also came from um uh tv series mm. tv series i didn't really do much of game animation back then so yeah it's interesting that we all congeal into like this mm. Yeah, even yeah. for me it was like engineering and then my parents wanted me to go to robotics but Oh dear. I, did shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like uh, at one point I just did what they say but then I just like I wanted I wanted I want to do so games. Bad, yeah. <laughs> I mean like for me it's like the reason also game programming is not just because like oh I want to do on the spot is because my dad thinks that art doesn't make money. Mm. And so, <laughs> See the convince, connection my dad, here. convince my dad that I make money game programming. At least like something that is programming, and he's much more of a step person. So, yeah, that's yeah. why. <laughs> Sally, but hey, I'm happy to do game programming anyway. Yeah, nice. that's um, all from us. Just like adding on to that, do you guys think it was an uphill battle to get where you are now compared um, to your meal now? I think I. For me, not that badly, but maybe Daniel and Farah can answer this. Yes, yeah. for me it's because well, not really like I don't treat like the guy, a lot. Of, I don't treat like the guys like oh they're guys and I'm a girl, but I do feel like I have to keep up with them because of like my intelligence isn't as good as them. No, don't say that. I mean that's why I think <laughs> and, and I still am, but yeah, that's why I thought. Uh, but like when I was in uni, of course, every single time I go to a programming class or a math class, it's always me. I'm the only person there. The rest of it, uh, like the only lady there. Yeah, the only lady. Mm. And when I heard there's a girl coming, it's like, oh my gosh, there's a girl coming in next semester. And then they, she never came. It's like, oh. And she lied. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she was intimidated. Who knows? I guess that's the thing. That's a lot of things that I'm kind of like sad about. It's like a lot of girls are intimidated by programming and game programming because of the guys here. And I get it. I, I understood that. But I, you know, I strive through as much as possible. And because I never really cared that oh, I was like, I, I guess it's like, um, in a way that I, there are times where I do care, but at times where I like, I just need to focus on what I can do, and so it I does have, happen, yeah. yeah, and so I just, you know, trudge myself to the trenches, and then yeah, I'm still programming. I, I still don't think I'm the best, but at least I can do things uh, with programming. So it is still an mm. uphill battle for you. Yeah, yeah. It's still, there's still a lot of things to learn, but thanks to Sean again because you know he teaches me a lot of things, and I thank for him for that. Mm. <laughs> Mm, for me, it's, it's again my parents. They just it, to them it's like oh, games are for guys. You won't uh, enjoy this. Uh, you'll get bored uh, if you work in games. You won't enjoy games. Mm. And then I proved them wrong. I joined Weirdworks. Uh, I still love games. Yeah, <laughs> stigma so, was wrong. Yeah, and actually now I think I play more games than I did back then. I remember you told me there were a few guys who. What was that game? Hmm? Uh, you asked them to like pick the mushroom and eat it. Then it was poison. Oh, green hell! Oh, yeah. 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 I was, it was green hell, and uh, it's a survival yeah. game. So you know how like typical misogynistic guys. Yeah. Uh, when it's survival, it's like uh, girls, uh, you do the farming, blah blah blah, and then <laughs> they go do the scavenging, and then uh, I actually I have interest in like studying poisonous mushrooms, animals, and then in that game it was sort of accurate. So I saw them picking up like poisonous mushrooms, but I was petty. <laughs> so I just let them eat it, and then when they were dying, I was just like, oh, it's your own fault. <laughs> when you see them dying, ha, loser. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you could have brought me with you. Yeah, so not only in work, it's but, like, yeah, even, and like, even in games, playing like games, playing like, games yeah. itself. Yeah. What about you? Bella um, player. 
<laughs> I mean, I, I can't say much because this is my first day. <laughs> Literally my first day. <laughs> Don't have any uphill challenge for the past few hours. Mm -hmm. So, um, let me think. Yeah, as a gamer. As a gamer? Mm -hmm. Oh, when you just... When you use a voice chat, in a public game, oh, and they're like, yeah. Oh, you're a girl. Can you just play this, you know, like support heroes? Yeah, yeah, they, they do that all the time. Oh, you, you cannot play a duelist. You cannot play a main, um, like, a ADS. Uh, ADS, sorry. You cannot, play, uh, uh, you cannot play a main duelist or anything just because you are a, you're a girl. But then after that, I pick whatever they want me to pick and then I outfrag them just, just because I'm petty or so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I also, I guess, um, the one thing that really stopped me from even get into the gaming industry earlier was also because of my parents. Um, I remember when my when I was younger, both my brothers were gaming, and mm. I was not allowed to because I was a girl. I should not. Mm. Oh, leave. yeah, it's like oh, a girl, you know, you shouldn't play games. You see, uh, uh, they are naughty man because they are boys. So if you're a girl, you should be like more proper, prim and proper, right? Um, and then when I grew up. Because my brothers played games, so when I was in uni, then I started gaming. And then when when my mom scolds me, then I said like, but my brother plays games too, you see? He's playing my computer right now, so I can blame him <laughs> my sometimes. My computer, yeah. yeah. I can blame him sometimes. And then um, right now, after joining Weirdworks, I am hoping that they would change their perspective. Mm. Because it's in gaming, it's not just about playing games, it's also about what comes behind the scenes, all, all this hard work. I literally was looking at them work today and I'm like really, really impressed. All the hard work that comes into building just a small little feature. Yeah, so I hope that people will change their perspectives on that. Very cool. What are your proudest achievements? Oh shit, I think I can answer this one. Uh, okay, honestly, my proudest achievement was uh, when I went with Weirdworks to Taipei. Uh, uh, because it was a foreign country, I've, I've never like went as a part of a company to a foreign country to communicate and to like basically promote the game itself. Um, I had to like look up all the keywords because my Mandarin wasn't that proficient at that time. I had to look up like keywords and what I can say and what I can pitch like the night before. And it was like two days of like pitching and I was coughing my lungs. Oh. <laughs> Literally, I'll be like, ah, ni hao. <laughs> not COVID, I said. <laughs> yeah, not COVID, I said. But everybody was like, yeah. And yeah. I think that was one of my proudest achievements that I was able to represent, sort of. Mm. Yeah, it felt good. It felt empowering, honestly. <laughs> that was my proudest achievement. Any. For me, proudest being just that I'm a. Get programmer and female. That's the proudest moment. Yeah, for me. I don't just, see. Yeah. yeah, just being a programmer and a female because it's not a lot of programmers as female. Most of them are artists or designers, and that's sad. But yeah, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Okay, STEM like, girls. I can't, I can't yeah. encourage people to like you know do STEM, but that's how it is. Yeah, yeah it's true. Though. I'm not sure. Like again, like I'm not sure why. Is it because maybe it's taste, or maybe because people are afraid, or things it like is. that. But otherwise, yeah. It is intimidating. I, I will say it. It yeah. is intimidating to come into a company and see it's all male mm -hmm. dominated. Yeah. It, yeah. Even though you can say, no, I'm not scared of guys. It's still, there's a certain amount of like, oh, what if I'm, what if I don't understand what they're saying? Yeah. Or, you know, why? Which is, yeah. which is also funny because the two companies that worked before this, majority of them are artists, are guys. Mm. Like the first company I went for, all of them are guys. I'm the only girl. Well, there's another girl, but she's doing marketing <laughs> stuff. And I'm the programmer. And the guys doing like, it's the flip. Like usually it's like, oh, the girls do the art and then the guys do the programming. I, I'm the one who do the programming and the guys are doing the artist stuff. <laughs> Which is so weird, it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's a more like, not really achievement, but it's just funny you know, just to see it. Same with the second company, but I have a, a guy who's not really game uh, like game oriented, but he does help on networking and stuff like that. So I learned from him as well, so yeah. <laughs> no, so about you. Yeah. Mm. What about you, Farah? I think in uh, like, like Danya, being mm. a part of the gaming industry, mm. like as a female, I'm proud of it, especially when I'm the first one in my entire family, like including my cousins, 
and the all love games mm -hmm. i'm the first one to actually like step oh, foot in this no. industry yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's like they're all playing games i'm making, making them. It. yeah <laughs> i so, think yeah there's a certain uh, proudness to it when you're telling people you're developing games mm. yeah, yeah, yeah it's like bragging right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i changed the rules <laughs> <laughs> Me? Well, is it okay <laughs> if I don't say an achievement that's related to gaming? I mean, can I say something else? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. my biggest achievement would be when I represented Malaysia uh, in dodgeball to play in the World Cup that was held in Madison Square Garden. Oh, York. shit. Oh. Thank you, girl. Not shit. Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> so means you can like, choo -choo -choo, and then you get choo -choo -choo. more like responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I came from a world of sports. I'm, I, I like sports, so I jumped from swimming to water polo then to dodgeball so i try to compete in the highest level so mm. that one to be able to set foot and play in madison square garden that would be the highlight la, of being a female sports yeah. woman yeah. well, well the, the the obstacles that i face in that that area is way different but yeah well, yeah. sports yeah. is a male dominated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's very hard. Another male crowd. Yeah, you should. Yeah, but that's about it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the next question is on uh, harsh realities, the kind of experience of that you had to kind of face when joining this industry. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> imposter <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> oh, that's one thing. Yeah. <laughs> Harsh reality was I was not as good as I thought I was. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. That is the truth. But the truth is you can always practice to be better. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Same like, again, imposter syndrome and thinking that you're not good enough. It's mm. always been like that. I, like even ever since you're in you as well. Mm. And again, it's, it's keep, it will come again and again. But again, we always keep pushing and people had to other, you know, Friends have to support each other and things like that. Women have to support each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's only like so few of us. Mm. Mm. Uh, for me, it's that since I was from a different industry, uh, getting into games is kind of like a new thing for me. So I didn't know like Unity. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. And then I actually thought like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. It's like, oh, no. did they fire me? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know how oh, to no. do this. But then I decided like, you know what, I want to do this. So I learned Unity and then it was like, oh, it's not that bad. It's something you can learn. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not like you won't do good at it. Mm. And another thing is, yeah, Sean is upstairs and he can just teach us a yeah. lot of things. Yeah. They're always Here's teaching us. Teaching. They're always teaching They're us. Yeah. Which well, is great. I mean, my first day here. <laughs> 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 the the time and time again. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I think uh, right now how I feel is how you feel because I'm from a different field. But yeah, because I don't really know much, but I am really willing to learn and I'm also hoping that they won't fire me. <laughs> no la. But I'm <laughs> one day. Yeah, but but I mean I'm willing to learn and then I find everything really interesting here, especially yeah. the people here. Honestly, I, I just laugh because I saw her dancing. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were dancing right like, before this. Yeah, yeah. I think um, there's not much I can say my first few hours. Yeah, how was your first day? How was the first few hours here? Honestly, I didn't feel the time pass so quickly because mm -hmm. I was learning a lot. Uh, there were a lot of new things that I didn't know uh, existed. So I was just trying to learn, but because there were so many tabs open, and all of them I didn't know what, what they were, so I was just reading the first page. Ha half of the page, and I'm like, okay, shit, the next one. <laughs> oh, half of the page, I know what this is, okay, next. So I was just trying to <laughs> juggle, but it's, it's interesting because it keeps your mind busy. Yeah, so I, I like that about my first day. Very nice. And you yeah. kind of see how your next few days are going to be. I'm pretty sure for the next few months it's just going to be the same because I don't think that I will be able to pick up uh, a lot of things uh, 
that quickly um, mm. because I'm also I'll also be going through workshops and uh, we'll be studying a few courses that's re related to dig digital marketing. So a lot of things to learn, but I'm looking forward to it. For me, it's like, you know, though you're too, it's like, oh, we're new in the industry, so we don't know how to use Unity. And it's like, oh, Unity is not so bad. For me, I use Unity. I forgot a lot of things in Unity sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the hard reality is that sometimes you forget and you have to relearn it again and again so that you will. And then, and then yeah, new things come in as well, new parts of the program and features that it's like. I didn't know this existed, and then Sean was like, "This was existed in 2016. How could you not know that?" So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like, yeah. So there are things that, again, like the harsh reality is that you know you're always going to like not know everything. That is like that's you can't fine. just you know yeah. that's fine. You you don't have to know everything, but sometimes you, just have you to know. Be... Just have to be in your in your toes too and willing to learn. That's the thing. Yeah. It's like as much as I forgot a lot of things, I go back. It's not like oh I, I don't remember that thing, so I'm not gonna learn it. It's like no. It's like if I forgot that thing, I'll just look up and see what, how it works again. It's not like I just gave up, it's like I don't wanna learn. I just, you know, grab at my feet, try to find like the right answers and then, you know, answer the right way. True. Well not the right way like employees. I don't know if it's a harsh reality. But to me, it came to me when I was like 23, 24, when I realized that yes, our period cycles do actually affect the oh. moods. Mm -hmm. They affect the moods and they affect like our, how you say, they act, our, yeah. how you say, yeah, thought activity. process yeah, and like daily process, activities. Yeah. Yes, your, your mentality, your mood, yes. yeah. your, and, and your, especially energy the level. energy, the yeah. energy yeah. is very important. So I don't know if that counts as a harsh reality. Sure. It is very mm. harsh. Mm. Because <laughs> I was in denial. Honestly, in college, I was in denial. I was like, how? Yeah. 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 Especially what? when it's like, uh, I shouldn't feel like this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Other people don't feel yeah, like Yeah, other people, which is the men that we work around, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. which don't have the period it's cycles. Like, yeah. But but yeah, the harsh reality is it, it happens. Yeah. And you know, sometimes it's very difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. Uh, it takes an extra effort and I don't think we should discredit ourselves if we cannot perform uh, at that period of time because it only lasts, it, come on, it only lasts for like a week but it is a very difficult week, honestly. Yeah. Mm. I think it can True. carries too sometimes. It mm. carries too, yeah, it does. Yeah. Even the, the going up, leading up to it and then recovering back after the, the period. The yeah. PMS. Yeah, it, it hits when the PMS starts, mm. just before ah. the PMS starts. And then when it starts, things get okay, stabilizes. And then oh, only when it ends, then you're like, ah, I am me again. <laughs> it's cool because yeah. we do have menstrual leave. And then, yeah, and then it we, is a new yeah. thing. Yeah. And then that's the thing, like, we have menstrual leave, but then we feel like, you know, should we take this leave? Like, we feel like, yeah. oh, yeah. oh should, yeah, should we have to, like, it's, yeah. like, it's just period. It's just period yeah. because we're so used to it yeah, since we're like college. In yeah, in denial. Yeah. Yeah. I have my period, but I can still do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll okay. just crawl onto the computer. Yeah. I can't do this. This crawl. is easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the things. Yeah, because we weren't taught that, oh, it's just, yeah, period. And we were still working through, so, yeah. We, we feel like we feel very, very guilty to take that kind of leave oh, yeah. because it's something that is not oh, as big as you know like if, you know some things happen but yeah <laughs> but I think it's a really good initiative mm. that we're yes. is doing this because that was, yeah. a, that was it was mentioned to me by Sean that I was very surprised menstrual leave question mark question mark <laughs> y'all like, are so nice yeah, like, <laughs> for women <laughs> women women positive company guys yeah. Yeah. yeah how have things changed now and then oh okay i don't think all of us have lived long enough to see the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the ancient <laughs> yeah. times when women weren't allowed to study yes where women were <laughs> can they can't yeah. go either <laughs> Well, throughout my career, um, <laughs> how long has One it been? Day. Like uh, six hours? Yeah. <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> nothing much changed. Everything was amazing. Menstrual leave was there when I came for the interview two weeks ago. Menstrual leave is still here. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that, Carol. <laughs> Cheers to that. Mm. Mm. Throughout my career, um, or even just the industry as a whole. Yeah. In your yeah. Oh, ah. Wow. 
<laughs> Difficult to say because oh, I think women are getting the more uh, more opportunities and more mm. traction in you know uh, being present in the industry and being spotlight in the industry. Mm. Yeah, I think that would... Sophie Aslan. <laughs> Sophie Aslan. <laughs> and uh, what's the name from Persona Theory? Uh, um, Sakina. Sakina Latif, yes. Go boss. Go boss. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> My idol. I don't think this has anything like directly related, but to me back then, I felt like it was more like if you wanted to get into games, you have to have this like some sort of image like tough girl mm, kind of image. Yeah, the, uh. and then but now um, I I kind of succumb to that. It's like I wanted to be like one of the boys no. sort of thing. But then now I'm just like I want to wear makeup. I want to dress like yeah. a girl and be a girl. But I still want to enjoy games. The feminine energy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we're bringing in the feminine energy and we're getting more proud. I it's feel. like yeah. now back then it was like maybe it's like male approval sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. But now oh, it's like yeah. it's for Genuinely. us. Yeah. It's for, for us. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Can I do a cheers to celebrating femininity in femininity? Femininity, <laughs> femininity yeah. in in this male dominated industry. Yeah. Cheers yeah. to being girls. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> I'm sorry if I held you out for an awkward cheers just now. Mm. I thought we were gonna cheers, then I'm like... I, don't I know. also thought we were gonna cheers! But we were in the middle, so I'm like, <laughs> should I drink? <laughs> I contemplated for a while, but I ended up drinking, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what happened to you, I'm sorry. Take another take. No, no, no. no. Leave I'm it in. Me. Celebrating femininity. And awkward femininity. <laughs> femininity. And awkwardness, yeah. 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 Oh god, we need to stop doing that. <laughs> That's the thing, but right? yeah, a lot of female, and also changes the female image as well, mm. to be honest. Like a lot of pe people would see female as, you know, the high femininity, things like that. When it comes to like feminine in, in games, it actually reveals what we're just normal as the guys. Like, yeah. we're, we're we everyone. Have awkward, like, yeah, it doesn't we have our own awkwardness, we have our own you know, feelings, we love things that the guys do. So, yeah, that's like one of the things that's like, wow, uh, that game, uh, not game as a whole, like, yeah, the game industry and also playing games itself, like, uh, show us more on that. <laughs> that kind of view, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yourselves. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity yeah. to for us to like yeah round table discussion. Yeah. 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 I think definitely helped us. Yeah. Yeah. Fun question time. Hey. What are your favorite games? Oh shit. Oh uh, no. Go. There's so many. But can I Pick say one. like my favorite, like the first game that I played? Oh, sure. Yeah. Everybody can say that. Too. First game I played, Ninja Gaiden Black, oh. Xbox. That's why I'm like this. <laughs> I, I don't know how, but okay. Basically, it's Dark Souls before Dark Souls. Oh. It's a very hard game, and now a lot of people play it because everyone goes to Devil May Cry, which is fine. Devil May Cry is also <laughs> another great game. <laughs> Devil May Cry fans, oh, shaking. <laughs> No, it's just me, like cringe is like Devil May Cry has <gasps> new things and then Ninja Gaiden has nothing. <laughs> mm. But yeah, so that's like I would say like the one that start at all for me to get into game because that game is like phenomenal. Even though it's like not the best for like a lot of people, but that game has been like life changing for me in a way. <laughs> Open my third eye. Open my third eye. I don't actually have a favorite game. Mm -hmm. I play games as long as my friends are playing with me. Aww, so most cute. of the games that I like to play are chaotic. <laughs> yeah, and like uh, like um, the, the game I mostly play is Valorant, uh, Dota, and then I play some MMORPG also called Black Desert Online. <laughs> That's for the wars actually. Because I like chaos. I, I like to fight people. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that <laughs> shot? <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, I I and, and then and then when and then when when I when I PVP someone and then they die, 
And then they're like, oh my god, you're a girl? That just go there. That's right. And I start doing the scoffing. Tea bag! Tea bag! Tea bag! That's right. That's yeah. right. So, to answer your question, it's just any chaotic games. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in me uh, one. For me, I don't. I I absolutely hate the game, but I keep coming back to it. It's dead so by day. Oh no! <laughs> dead toxic by ex. Yeah, it's like the toxic ex. <laughs> He's a bad boy, but I like well, bad boys. Fun fact: the new killer is a woman. <gasps> yeah. Go girl. Not many. <laughs> Not many killers are women. Yeah. Uh, and she slays. Oh, <laughs> yeah. she literally slays. <laughs> literally slays. Oh, yeah, that's it for me. Oh. Okay, for me, um, I got two. So one is more like personal in my heart. I know it's like trash game, but it's Maple Story. <laughs> I've been playing it since I was young. It was one of my earlier games when I was playing when I was little. I liked it because the, the worlds were so enchanting to me. But there was another game that I really like from Amanita Studios. It's called Machinarium. Ooh. It's a point and click game. I love it. I love the art. And I I don't know, the aesthetic is so wonderful to me. Yeah. So these two. Literally I have a list if my bio data I would write Machinarium, Maple Story. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So good. When you say Maple Story, the song in my head was. <laughs> Do you hear the blah 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 when the yeah when the mouse go across? Yeah, she... I sadly missed that that part of my life. I have a I never played Maple Story. <laughs> Do you play Break the Rock? Yeah. Ah, no. oh, boring. <laughs> so I don't know. Know. Yeah, was like, yeah, at the time I didn't have any uh, internet. That's yeah. why I only play console games. Oh. And then that's when I like, yeah. Mm. Nice. 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 <laughs> I actually have a question for all of us. Like, oh, yeah. if you play RPG games, do you make a female character or a male character? I make girl characters. Yeah, because I think they're they're hot. <laughs> they're hot. <laughs> they are hot. They are hot. It feels so good when you dress them up like so. This is yes. like so slay, and then yes. it's like, oh, they're so strong. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, true. For it's me, kind of like manifesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I made, uh, I made variety. I made guys and girls in that, so I role play as it. But I have a character in F fourteen, which is represented as me as a female. Okay. And then I also have a cat boy, which is the reason why because I need <laughs> a cat boy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs a cat boy there, so I play as a cat boy. So, but at the same time, I also play as a female aura, which is the same height as me. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One day I have my cosplay as too. Danya is speaking the truth and only the truth. <laughs> cat boy. I actually find myself pretty biased to making only female characters. Mm. True, because they're so they're so pretty. I know. Like if I cannot dye my hair pink, I'll do it in game. Yeah. <laughs> if I want bigger boobs, I do it oh, in yeah. game. <laughs> max out the scale. <laughs> Today is me. The thighs mm, max. Yeah. <laughs> max. <laughs> yes, we speak only the truth. The truth and the truth. Okay, celebrating women. And I'm pretty sure it's the same for the guys out there too, because most of my guy <laughs> friends, oh, they, yeah. all of their characters, mm, the yeah. girls are them. them yeah. They know what they want. <laughs> they, they, make, they make better characters than me. Yeah, oh, they do. But, but really, all my guy friends, only girl characters. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I used to make guy characters because that's how I want my boyfriend to look like. <laughs> <laughs> I am yeah, <laughs> my dream guy builder. I, this is the pants I want you to wear, the <laughs> shirt I want you to wear. And then after the character creation, you're like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And then and then after that, when I get my boyfriend, I'm like, yeah. Uh, you're a bit off, but that's okay. It's reality. Just kidding, by the way. Missing Just kidding. Missing the cat ears. ears. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You need the cat ears. <laughs> Need my meow meow. <laughs> meow meow. Our <laughs> uh, final question is: What advice would you give to girls who want to join the industry someday in the future? Be different, y'all. Just join. Just join. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Gender should not be something that stops you from doing what you want. Yeah, that's true. If you're passionate about that thing, just go for it, man. <laughs> uh, be confident. There's nothing to be afraid about. 
except for yourself. You can do it. We're all here. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> There's women now in the industry and we're ready to help. Like, yeah. yeah. The other women trying to get into this industry with us. Mm. Literally just try. You'll never know if you get in or not. But if you don't try, you'll never know. Mm. I tried. I thought I wouldn't. But here I am. On mm. the first day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Literally just try. No matter gaming industry, any sort of industry, as long as you're willing to learn and you try. Mm. I mean, even if you fail, at That's least so you get cool. an experience, then you learn from that. And then you try again. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm yeah. living to. That's and just yeah. be yourself. Yeah, uh, be yourself. Yeah. If you if you be yourself and the company doesn't want to hire you, there's yeah. no point in joining yeah. that company in the yeah, first it's place. Their because loss. Basically. you want people to hire you for being you, yeah. not being someone else. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Just be yourself, be confident. Yeah. Be cringe and be free, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I have right Tell now. Tell the cringe, baby. Yeah, just <laughs> noise. I, I think one of our things of being women is that we're very flexible. Mm. So remember to bring that in because that's a very good skill. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Yeah, it's a good skill. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. We're all here. Yeah. yeah.